All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm going to be smashing through a good chunk of new deck profiles for everybody. And I will say that uh, we got some interesting stuff here. So this is the ninth place list piloted by Johnny Nguyen, a.k.a. Asian Persuasion 2008. Bubbling his regional, by the way, with this. Just showing off power of the Guardians. And when attack is declared involving an equipped monster, place one spell counter on this card. The equipped monster gains 500 attack and defense for each spell counter on this card. The equipped monster would be destroyed by a card effect. You get to remove one counter from this instead. So think about loading up all those fat counters on this. So, the monster lineup for Prophecy. We have two High Priestess of Prophecy, of course. Triple copies of Jog and the Spiritualist. Oh man, I miss Spellbook of Judgment. We have triple copies of High Priest, or the Spellbook Master of Prophecy. Triple copies of Spellbook of Knowledge, our generic draw card. And then we have one Spellbook of Power. Triple copies of Extravagance. Two copies of Spellbook of the Master. Two copies of Eternity, triple copies of Secrets, two copies of Duality, one Set Rotation, one Wisdom, triple Spellbook of Fate, triple copies of Power of the Guardians, two copies of the Grand Spellbook Tower, then we have one Secret Village, one Mystic Mine, one Metaverse, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Down here in the extra, we have two Crowley, the first uh, Prophesier. So it's two Spellcaster Monsters. If this card is a Link Summon, you reveal three spellbook cards with different names from your deck, and your opponent randomly picks one for you to add to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only use this effect of the first Prophecy or once per turn. And then each turn, one level five or higher spellcaster monster you normal summon can be normal summoned without tributing. So, means I get to drop my Priestess without a tribute, right? And then we have one Phoenix, one Heriophant, triple copies of Mud Dragon, triple Drug Spell, triple Starving Venom. Two cop is the Borlode Furious Dragon. We have two Nibiru, the Primal Being. Two copies of Pankor Tops. One Raigeki. Two Dark Ruler, no more. Triple Twin Twister. Two Super Poly and triple copies of Emergency Provisions. Whew! I, Johnny did some crazy things with this, actually, during the tournament. And it was crazy cool to actually watch this resolve on camera in time. And players are just like... What do I do? Like, there's there's nothing you can do. That's the downside to this beauty. So there's that. Next up, we have Ethan Schwartz's list coming out of Omaha, Nebraska this past, I believe it was last, last weekend. It's two weeks back. This man has been raving to me about how good Thunder Crusadia has been for him. And, yeah, it's it's actually not even like Thunder anymore. It's just just basically Danger Crusadia. Well, not even, yeah, Danger Crusadia with the combo package. So we have triple copies of Maximus, triple copies of Cruzia, triple copies of Arborea, two copies of Draco, two Nessie, two Jackalope, and two Sujinoko, and then triple copies of Ranryu. So you only control one Ranryu. If you control Spellcaster Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. So the cool thing that we do with this is we use it with Magius to trigger the Magius, because it's a Spellcaster. x -bong. Like, don't you love that? And then we have two copies of Lavanir, one copy of the Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. And then we have one Wyvern Buster, one Collapse Serpent, one Brotar, one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, two copies of Gizzy, then we have triple copies of Corruptor Ibli, triple Called by the Grave, triple copies of Melody of the Awakening Dragons, one Monster Reborn, and one copy of the World Legacy Succession, wrapping up the main deck. Extra deck down here, we have one Hope Harbinger, one Dawn Dragster, one Archfiend Abyss, one Appaloosa, two Saruja, one Triple Burst Dragon, one Bring the Pain, one Pisty, and one LP, one copy of the Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. One Alistair. Also, the fact that uh, Alistair... <coughs> Hear me out here. This combos with Ranryu because Spellcaster. <laughs> we have one Spatha, one Magius, and the one copy of Mermaid. And inside deck here, we have triple Twin Twister, triple Exchange, triple Dark Ruler No More, triple Infinite Impermanence, and triple Evenly Matched. Wrapping up Ethan's deck. Now, the, the tech card down here... Exchange, he said it did wonders for him. And we actually, coming into week two here, we saw more love 
for this card as well. So a lot of players have been taking notes on these things, paying attention to the tech choices, and Exchange is one of those cards at this current juncture that is really... It's doing wonders, and it's really interesting just to see the power of these random tech cards. All right. Next up is an Orcus list that I've had on standby for everybody here. Now, Orcus has pretty much been standardized at this point. I think for all intents and purposes, what you really get out of this deck, it's still pretty much the same thing um, as the format goes. So... Pardon me, we just have another Orcus list here. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Triple copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Triple copies of Nightmare Corruptor Ibley. Triple Mathematician. One copy of the Slime Bull Skeleton. Triple copies of Mr. Harpoor. Two copies of Orcus Nightmare. Triple copies of Vishuda. And one copy of the World Wando. And then we have triple copies of Called by the Grave. Only two Signet Mining, by the way. That's kind of interesting. Triple Instant Fusion. One Monster Reborn, one Babel, one Hornet Drones, two Twin Twister, triple Infinite Impermanence, and then we have two copies of Crescendo, wrapping up the main deck here. Obviously, like, I don't know, looking at the way that Orcus is going, like, the standardization of the list, like, I don't know, you, you, you got your Scrap Recycler list, Scrap Recycler, Vishudu, Vishudu list, like, I don't know, pick your poison. We have one copy of Bomber Dragon, one Kagari, one Tenyi. We have one Long Grease Two, one copy Phoenix, one Mermaid, one Cerberus, triple copies of Galatea, one Borolo Dragon, two copies of Dingrisu, one Thousand Eyes Strict, and one copy of El Shadal Window. Then we have triple Lancy on the side, two Pancrotops, two copies of Nibiru, one Shadal Dragon, two copies of Dark Ruler No More, two copies of Mind Control. One Twin Twister, and only two copies of Eradicator Epidemic Virus. You would think that you would want to up the count on some of these things. I guess, in terms of, I guess, tech choices, looking at the side deck here, I think for all intents and purposes, it was just more standardized. There was no real reason to diversify and try out a lot of these things. I, I think that this was pretty okay in terms of ratios and things like that. So, not too dang bad, actually, for this. And then the last one we have here is a Wade's first place list coming out of his event. Now, this is the Danger Crusadia Thunder build that we've seen, but this is interesting because we're packing in triple copies of Sekka's Light with a Crescendo. And I first looked at this and I was like, really? We're doing this? And yeah, I mean, it banishes itself from the graveyard, so it's not like it's going to be any issue for Sekka's Light in the first place. So that's kind of like a general confliction that you can kind of get around, actually. So we have one copy of the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, two copies of Lavinir, triple copies of Arborea, one Draco, triple copies of Leonis, triple Maximus, triple copies of Reclusia, one Bigfoot, two copies of Nessie, two cop or excuse me, one Danger Thunderbird, two copies of Jackalope, two copies of Suchinoko, Triple copies of Defrag Dragon, two Gizmek, one copy of Brotar, two copies of the Orcus Nightmare, Triple Thunder Dragon, two Thunder Dragon Dark, two copies, or excuse me, one Dragon Hawk, one Dragon Roar, and the one Wyvern Buster. And then we have triple copies of Sekka's Light and that one Crescendo wrapping up the main deck here. This is really cute, by the way. Uh, bonus points for definitely having different splash ability options. I like that in a format. Just diversity. The extra deck here, we have one Triple Burst Dragon, one copy of Lambda, one Phoenix, one Mermaid, one copy of the Heavenly Spheres, one Pisty, one Elpy, one Bring the Pain Dragon, of course, one copy of Galtea, one copy of Magius, one Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, one Bow, one Dingrisu, one Hot Red, and one Thunder Dragon Colossus. Side deck here with triple gamma, one driver, triple copies of Dark Roller No More, triple copies of Twin Twister, triple evenly matched, and two copies of Infinite Impermanence. Wrapping up a good chunk of deck profiles for everybody. I will say, in terms of diversity, it's the little things that count, ladies and gentlemen. Those cool little options and things, those little tech choices that you make in your deck building. They're what really can hold your things together, and that's what we've seen in a lot of these lists. It's the little things. 
crescendo seconds light in the same build. It really pulls itself together. It's kind of cool. What do you guys think about these lists? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. You guys on the flip side, peace out. The ride never well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.